If you allow a tenant or a seller to stay after you close on a property, what are some pros and cons of doing this? Well, some of the pros is that the seller will allow, you know, be allowed more flexibility with their move. They have more time to move and they can, it's just more convenient to them. So in a competitive market, you may want to consider allowing a seller to stay after closing. Some of the cons is if the seller or the tenant do not move out at, on the scheduled date, then you may um, not be able to move in on time. There's also potentially more wear and tear on the property. And, you know, you, if, they, if they just simply will not move out, um, you know, after a long period of time, you may have to start the eviction process. And you, you know, potentially have to get a, an attorney involved with that. Some of the things that you can do to safeguard this, safeguard you in a situation like this is to draw up a lease agreement create, um, you know, take in a security deposit, document, um, you, know, the, you know, before they move in and after they move in, you know, via like a video of the property, you know, so they can't say that they didn't knock the hole in the wall, that it was already there. Make sure you document that. And you may have to, in certain situations, get your attorney involved to make sure the eviction process and everything goes the way it should. So um, if you'd like to learn more information about this topic, I will have it on my website which is Auburn Opelika AL Real Estate.com and I sure hope you follow me for more real estate advice and tips.